welcome to my studio. I'm here with my concert guitar, my beautiful Gary Southwell Bog Oak concert guitar. It's a beautiful thing, it's built to sing. But um, it's, it's quite easy to forget what a low instrument the, the six string guitar is, whether it's an acoustic guitar or a classical, whatever. It's actually quite a low pitch. And if you look at the notation of, of the guitar, um, it's written out in treble clef. But strictly speaking, there should be a little figure eight off the bottom of the treble clef because it's, uh, it's it transposes. It's written an octave higher than it sounds. So this guitar is at the pitch of a man's voice. It's quite low and rich and beautiful, built to sing. I've got something else here. I'm not even sure what this is, other than it was built by the most famous ukulele maker on the planet, widely recognised as the greatest ukulele maker, Mr. Pete Howlett. Now, Pete, Pete handed me this amazing guitar at a gig recently, and I said to him, what is this, Pete? And he said, I've got no idea. But we reckon it's, it's probably an alto guitar. It's not small enough and high enough to be a soprano guitar. It's not a Turtz guitar, which is up three semitones. This is up a fourth. So if you were playing a normal guitar, it would be capo, capo on the fifth fret. But it's tuned in a folk tuning. On a normal guitar, this would be dadgad. But this is dadgad on the fifth fret. So it's... It's G, D, G, C, D, G. So have you got any idea what we should call this instrument? Let me know. The things I do know about it are common to a lot of Pete's instruments. Pete even seems to know the tree that he's built things from. And uh, chatting with him this morning, he reminded me that this, this wood is, is a fara. It comes from Central Africa, a fara wood, or Karina it's sometimes referred to. And I asked Pete where he got the wood from, and he said um, it was in a in a warehouse in Romford. And on the on the pallets of wood, these these big chunks of wood, it said um, Felixstowe, 1996. So we reckon this tree was probably chopped down around 1995. And the whole guitar is built out of the same tree. So the neck, the body, and everything. Uh, Fingerboard is obviously a different thing, and the bridge, but the the actual guitar is one tree. And interestingly, Pete said that the wood on the back of the instrument probably comes from lower down the tree. He can see that the grain is really compressed and the wood is much denser. And then on the front, much higher up the tree, a much lighter section of the wood. Um, different bits of wood for different roles in the structure of the instrument. And if Pete hadn't made a guitar out of that wood, it would, would have ended up making pool cues, because that's also what they use this for. So a lucky escape. So whatever this guitar is, alto guitar, I'm going to play for you a little piece of mine called The Walrus Tree. Take my glasses off. <laughs> 